Funko Shop price hike? Let's talk about it. Welcome to the gas and gas. We're glad you passed by. You get the right time. We got an all-time line. Bumble's out, toys, and chimes on mine. Stick around, like, comment, and be sure to subscribe. Because life's a little better when you answer Chris and Heather. Hey, life's a little better when you answer Chris and Heather. Hey, life's a little better when you answer Chris and Heather. And remember, if you tell along, we are together. Yes. So people are going crazy right now because Funko sodas are way more expensive on Funko Shop right now than they were just days ago. Yeah, they went from $15 to $18, which is a huge price hike. These prices are going up on sodas that were sitting on the website. Funko sodas that they could not sell. These should be moving backwards in price. Exactly. They should be down like three or four dollars. Yeah, you realize that this is a 20% price increase, right? 20%? 20%. That's huge in in terms of percentages. I mean, people will get like a raise at work and it won't be even close to 20%. Before we get too deep into this conversation, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the like button because that helps this channel in a really big way. And check out 7 pop.com and buy yourself some pop protection. They got pop shields and pop shield armors and they're the best way to protect your Funko Pops. They're strong and durable and you don't want to go anywhere else. So check out 7 pop.com So this was posted by this Funko. He shows Frozone, Donald Duck, Hawkman, Lab Kronk, Shuri, and Jimi Hendrix. Do you mean Donald Duck or Donald Dick? Because you remember the uh, time yeah. when he did the typo? <laughs> yeah, Donald Dick. <laughs> so as we mentioned before, these are sodas that haven't been able to sell. So Funko decided to hike the price up. And we actually have a video coming out on Monday, February the 6th, where we talk about price hikes and we talk about all sorts of crazy stuff that we learned from former Funko employees. You know, those news videos that we make. Make sure you tune in to our video on Monday, February the 6th, because this whole price hike thing seems like a direct result of what we're going to be talking about and it's crazy these two videos are the perfect companions so a few days ago a price sheet for 2023 was leaked and apparently this price sheet is from funko hq and in this post this tracker funko hunter says funko has raised prices on certain products this is for the funko hq other locations may not see an increase at this time thoughts well my thoughts are 18 dollars for a soda is crazy especially ah i was about to spoil monday's video well don't do that i can't do that but you'll 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 see i can say one thing about the sodas though the quality control on those sucks People will purchase sealed cases direct from Funko retailers that have not been tampered with and not receive a chase. And when Funko is contacted about it, they basically say chases aren't guaranteed anymore. Oh, that's messed up. Not only that, but we've seen incorrect pogs in different sodas, like yeah. the complete different character, or we've seen chase pogs in common sodas or vice versa. And people are searching to find like the missing piece. So yeah. if they have a chase soda, but they get a common pog, Pog, they're like, hey, does anyone have this Chase Pog that they're not going to be using because they want they want the set? Yeah. So Funko, can you guys like pay attention to what the hell you're doing over there? This is crazy. Yeah. Like before they start hiking their prices up, they really should pay more attention to the quality of their product. It's really baffling. I could understand if they put up new sodas on Funko Shop and it was something everybody's looking for, like a Wednesday soda, and they're like, oh, it's eighteen dollars. Our new price hike is here. But they're doing it on sodas that have been sitting on the website that I just cannot understand. Why have stuff sit on your website, things that can't move, and put a higher price on them? It just seems like a shot to the foot. It's weird. It doesn't make any sense. Before we go any further, I just wanted to remind you all that this coming Tuesday, February 7th at 2.14 p.m. Eastern Time, we are releasing a brand new Ghastly figure on MischiefToys.com, and he is Valentine's themed. We are not going to show him until he goes live at 2.14 p.m. on Tuesday, so make sure that you stay tuned and take a look. It is awesome. I absolutely love him. And to keep up with all the Mischief Mischief Toys news, head over to MischiefToys.com and sign up for our newsletter. Additionally, head over to Instagram and follow Mischief Toys. MischiefToys.com. A lot of people are thinking that Funko is going to have a huge sale soon and they're going to have all of these sodas marked down. But if they mark them down, are they going to mark them back down to 15? 
I have no idea. Like, like you feel like you're getting a deal. You ever go on Amazon, you go to order something, mm -hmm. and the price, it has like 20% off or something, but that price never changes. It's always exactly the same. Oh, yes. All the time. So I collected comments on Dish Tracker Funko Pop Hunters, and this is what people are having to say about this. People are pretty up in arms about this. We have people who are basically saying they're getting completely away from Funko over all of this. Okay, but people say that all the time. I know, they're but- They're burning their collection. I know. Who buys But collections? that's if they don't get what they want. Hold on. I'm done with Funko. They're producing too much. I know, much. but what I'm saying is, is that if we see price hikes like this happening far too often, people aren't gonna wanna spend their hard earned money on it anymore because it used to be that you buy a Funko Pop, like a little mini statue for a cheap price and you get a really cool figure in hand. But now the details are sort of lacking. They're making a lot of the same thing and the price just doesn't match like it used to. So if we get another 20% price increase, within the next year or two, sodas would be $21.60. Oh my God. For a soda. Let's hear directly from the people. All right, so the first comment says, guess they will throw them into the next mystery box at the end of the year, LOL. Good point. It sounds like a good place for these sodas to go. Yeah, or the trash, whichever. Biggest mistake was going public, dot, 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 period. Yep. Some could say that, but Funko is benefiting off of that. They're a large company. They're making a lot of money. They want to become a household name. Yeah. $18 for a single soda. They're getting greedy now, especially since some of the design quality pops and sodas have gone way down. My 13 year old had better ideas of variants than their designers have. Funko artists, from what we understand, do not have as much input as they normally would. And yeah. we have a lot more information coming in our Monday video, which again is on February the 6th, that'll give you way more insight about this particular topic. And I cannot wait for you to watch that video. Oh yeah, I agree with that. However, this isn't someone blaming the Funko artist necessarily. They're just blaming Funko in general. Sure, yeah, absolutely. And I feel like if Funko weren't so controlled by their stakeholders, then they could be a bit more creative. Allegedly. Allegedly. Just started getting into buying sodas and this price increase just took me out of them. It's a shame. I don't blame them. Well, looks like I'm done with sodas. Don't blame them either. Man, $18 for a soda? I'm a piece out of the soda game. You know what that guy said? These are not worth $18. 15 was already pushing it, but this is ridiculous. Laugh emoji. I don't know. $15 I thought was okay for a soda. It's okay, but when you collect a lot, and Funko does put out a lot, $15 is a hefty price tag, especially if you're trying to get the common and the chase. That's true. And I'm officially out of the game once my One Piece Funkos get here. Well, sir, the biggest problem is that you called them Funkos. So Dish Trackers, when he posted this photo, left his own comment. He says, Funko's price increases on select products are now visible on their website. In my opinion, they shouldn't have raised the prices on current stock, given that it's sitting. Other retailers do not have these increases yet. So we don't know necessarily what's going on in terms of the sodas. Will the commons become $18 at some point? Will we see exclusive sodas at Walmart become $18? None of this has come to light yet. We only know what's on Funko Shop. But if this is a preview of what is to be in the future, we're f I mean, super f How could it become so expensive? This is overwhelming as sh Especially because everything else is getting so expensive too. And I understand prices have to go up, but wages aren't going up. God, I could I could rant forever, but this will turn into like a whole political thing. I don't really want that. I mean, eggs. You know how expensive eggs are? It's unbelievable how expensive eggs are. So my biggest concern at this point is what if they start increasing the Funko Pop prices? And we just had a price hike on Funko Pops back in 2021. And I'm really concerned that common Funko Pops will eventually become like 15 to $20 per pop. Now that will take them completely out of the affordability equation. The reason yes. why people buy Funko Pops so often is because how cheap they actually are. Yes, and a big part of why they are so inexpensive is because the quantity that Funko makes. Because for such a cheap product, they are very good quality for the most part. I mean, we have seen where the quality has gone downhill on some things, but realistically, they're very detailed. A lot of them look really fantastic, but again, they're very, very affordable and people will become more selective, which will in turn force them to not buy as many Funko products because they're just 
so pricey. Quite honestly, if Funko sodas are gonna be $18 on the Funko Shop website, I, I don't honestly see myself buying any. I mean, it would have to be a Funko soda that I'm super, super into. $18 just seems out of the realm of possibilities for me when I'm buying a soda. Just $15 was pushing it. I think in the past they were somewhere around $12.50 or so. Don't quote me on that, I'm not certain, but going from $12.50 to $18 in a relatively short period of time is huge, in my opinion. If you're buying one or two of these sodas, which generally, if it's an exclusive, you're only allowed to purchase two, you're spending $7 in shipping. Oh my God, so what does that make it? 18, 18, and then like $7 in shipping? You're talking you're in, you're in $40 range. For two items. Yes. And for me, I know a lot of people display their collections differently, but generally I'm out of box and out of can. The can, like the packaging it comes in doesn't matter to me. So if they're charging more based off of like the cost of the figure and the can, I don't give a f about the can. Right, you know and, we're, what I mean? and we're talking about mass produced products. If this were like a super limited soda or something, I would happily pay more money because of the limited capacity of it. Yeah, but now we're seeing 15, 20, 25, and Completely no common limit. new number. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Funko, if you want to sell us $18 sodas, make them super limited. I will pay the extra couple dollars because I know that it's super limited. Don't sell me common sodas for $18. It's garbage. It's, actually it isn't. It's trash. I don't like what's happening at all. The price increases really suck, and it's making it less of a fun hobby and it's making it a more expensive hobby than ever. My expensive hobby is hot toys. It's not gonna be Funko Pops. Yeah, hot toys, designer toys, fine by me. Mass produced Funko Pops? No. Mm -hmm. Most Funko collectors have shelves and walls full of Funko Pops. If Pops become 18 to $20 normally, I feel like we're gonna see less and less of that. I'm in complete agreement with you on that. People are not gonna buy them like they've been buying them. If you keep bumping up the price, it's gonna slow people down, and therefore, Funko will not be able to make the kind of money that they wanna make. It, it, this is just a losing situation. It's almost like they're trying to hit the fast forward button to make as much money as they possibly can in a very quick amount of time, and that is a really scary thought, because if that's what they're doing, does that mean that they know that their demise is coming? Well, I think that they're creating their own demise because like you said, they are pressing the fast forward button, but yeah. in turn, they're driving people away. Yeah, and they're getting rid of all of their important artists and the people who do all the great work. Again, when you watch our video on February the 6th, which is a Monday, you're gonna find out a lot more that goes along with this video. It'll all make a lot more sense and I cannot wait for you to watch it. So look out for that important video. Hit the subscribe button and the bell and you'll be notified once it goes live. What do you think about all this? Are you in the same camp as all the people who are commenting? You know, all the comments that we just read off. Do you agree with us that it's way too expensive and you can't see yourself buying as many or maybe not any at all? We would love to know all of your thoughts and more in the comment section down below. And we just want to shout out to our patrons because you guys are amazing and we really appreciate all of your support. It helps this channel in a really, really big way. And if you want to join Patreon and you aren't on there yet, head over to patreon.com slash castlecast to find out all the ways that you can support the channel and also receive some cool perks in return. In an upcoming live, we're actually going to show our brand new character, the Monstro, for the very first time. We have all the artwork together and we're going to show all of our patrons at level 2, 3, and 4 our brand new character and we cannot wait to unveil him. In every video, we like to shout out to some of our patrons from Patreon. In this video, we'd like to shout out to Marky Tony, Funko Fan 626, Moondoggy 16, Eddie Hamill, Richard Perez, Calvin Lee, Derek, Tino Maldonado, Tristan Raj, and Joshua G. Thank you guys so much for your continued support. We appreciate all of our patrons. You guys rock. Thank you so much for staying until the very end of the video. We appreciate all of your support. Remember as always, we are together, yes. We'll catch you next time. Bye.